What's good guys and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Market Analysis here at Elementary FX. Um, it's currently 16th of May, it's a Tuesday, but I know for most of you guys in uh, the private trading group it's currently still Monday, but um, I just want to go through USDN quite quickly because I know I have submitted a video to you guys on the USDN, but I just want to do some further analysis on this. So this is the USDN on the 15 minute chart. And as you can see, price has been quite bearish and uh, this has been the result of the completion of a cipher pattern that we identified on the 4-hour chart. So um, you can see that price has um, basically sold off for about over 100 pips, about 120 pips. So I'm trying to um, look for opportunities where I can sell into this pair right here. And um, I actually identified a very nice godly pattern. If I were to draw it out for you, we have our X to A, our A to B. Our A to B comes here, B to C, and our CD completion coming around here. And um, if I were to do my Fibonacci analysis on this, we have a 618 retracement right here. Swing high to swing low, we have a 618 for our first leg. And then for our next leg, we should have a 618 to an 886. So if I were to use a Fibonacci, you can see that we hit the 786. So that is a valid leg right here. And for our completion leg, we want to use an extension of this move right here. And that should give us about a 127 extension. So this would be our godly pattern right here. And if I were to use the pattern tool for you and draw it out, X to A, A to B, B to C, and our CD completion coming right around here. And um, this would give me a very good reason for entry to enter a short position. And if I were to draw a line on that D completion, and we were to look left, you can see that this uh, this area has been respected quite a lot recently. Or in the past, we, we have a, a very nice zone of consolidation. And if I were to go up to the 4 hourly chart, you can see that in this area, we have very nice uh, false breakouts, this support right here. We also have resistance, resistance, very nice resistance here. And uh, basically, you can see that this area has been respected multi -time, multiple times previously. So this would be a very good reason for entry we have a pattern completion we have structure and uh, basically that is a, a decent a decent um, analysis for this pair if price manages to push up into this area right here currently it's about 28 pips so we actually have a sell order right here I think uh, let me just check check my notebook I have a sell order on the 103857 103857 no 113857 857 around here yep and i have targets going at the c leg slightly past uh, slightly slightly above the c leg and my stops were above the x leg right here for about 30 pips i think i had stops for about exactly 30 pips so i have about a 1.8 risk to reward ratio and um i'm looking forward to see how this plays out if price manages to push up into this uh, decompletion I set my order a few pips below decompletion, exactly three pips below decompletion just to make sure that my order gets filled and um, you know, if price wants to turn around before decompletion, then at least my order gets filled. Alright, so this has been the USD Yen. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode.